The following is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is, fourth chapter, text number twenty seven, given by His Divine Grace, A. C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on April seventeenth, nineteen seventy four, in Bombay, India. Indra Karmani, Prana Karmani Chapare. आत्मा संजोग जोगागनो जूहति ज्ञान दीपित व्हेन वन इज एनलाइटन ज्ञान दीपित द लाइट ऑफ नॉलेज इज अवेकम व्हेन आत्मा संजोग संजम जोगागनो कंट्रोलिंग द सेंसेस and uh, offering in the fire of yoga so the patanjali system is explained in the pa- purport that controlling the uh, inner different kinds of five kinds of pan upon uh by that is a mechanical system that is approved also that helps controlling the senses but there is another process that is called the bhakti yoga system that not only controlling the senses but to give engagement to the senses Simply by artificial controlling, choking, just like a child, uh, the mind is just like child. Uh, sometimes accepting something, sometimes rejecting something. Some call for we call. That is the business. So it is very difficult to control the mind. Or John, when he was asked to control the mind. By yoga practice, he said, "Chanchala him mana Krishna pramathi bolavat dhiro." My dear Krishna, you are asking me to control the mind, but I think it is impossible. Especially, we are in the political field, uh, royal order. We have to. Deal with so many political subject matter. So he says that Chanchala hi mana Krishna pramathi bolavat dhiro. Tasya hum nigrahang manne bauri vo sudushkaram. I do not think mind can be controlled. It is very very difficult, as difficult as to control the breeze or wind, strong wind blowing. It is not possible to control that. That was the verdict of Sri Ojuno. It will be explained in the sixth chapter. Actually, it is very difficult to control the mind. So artificially, by controlling the breathing system, there is a process, but still it is difficult. As I explained yesterday, even a great yogi like Vishamitra, he also failed. There are many instances. There was another Shauri Muni. He was practicing yoga system within the water, and as soon as he was little agitated by the fees, he wanted to come out and marry. And one king's daughter, he wanted to marry all the eight daughters. So there are many instances like that. It is very difficult to control the mind. But our process, uh, as it is stated here, that atma sangyamo yoga no atma sangyam. Uh, Samjama, control. The mind is the principle. 
सेंस इंद्रिया पर राहु इंद्रिय पर मन माइंड इज देंट्रल फिगर ऑफ ऑल द सेंसेस जस्ट लाइक मैड मैन बिकॉज ही कैनॉट फिक्स अप इज माइंड ही कैनॉट वर्क प्रॉपरली देर फोर इज कॉल्ड मैड मैन सो आवर प्रोसेस इज दैट वी कैनॉट कंट्रोल द माइंड बट इफ वी एनगेज द माइंड on the lotus feet of krishna then everything is controlled uh, krishna will help uh, somehow or other you engage your mind at the lotus feet of krishna sabai mana krishna padar vind uh, then gradually everything will be controlled uh, there is another bharsan that सेवनमुखी ही जीवादो जीवादो टू कंट्रोल द जीवा द जीवा मीन्स द टैन इट इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू कंट्रोल द जीवा पीपल डू नॉट नो इट बट एक्चुअली दिस इज एवरी वन बिकम्स ए सर्वेंट ऑफ द सेंसेस जस्ट बिगिनिंग फ्रॉम द टैन they cannot control the tongue they eat anything and everything uh therefore they cannot control other senses also this is the experience of big big yogis uh therefore in the yoga practice jam niyam uh in yoga practice also it is forbidden not to allow the tongue to eat anything and everything no that is not possible similarly we also ask our devotees not to allow your tongue to touch anything uh except krishna prasadam tongues to business eating tasting something and vibrating sound so if we can control the tongue not to touch anything which is not offered to krishna and if we do not allow the time to talk anything except krishna hari krishna mahamantra then he become the greatest yogi the greatest yogi simply two things of course we have to eat that's a fact without eating we cannot exist we we have got so many nice things offered to krishna you offer to krishna all nice things and bhakti mana thakur says krishna mara daya mai kori bare jiva jay sab prasad anna dilo bhai bhakti mana thakur he was a grihastha practical he experience he says शरीर अविद्या जाल दिस बॉडी मेटेरियल बॉडी इज ए नेटवर्क ऑफ इग्नोरेंस शरीर अविद्या जाल जस्ट लाइक ए नेटवर्क इफ यू आर पुट इन टू ए नेट एंड बाउंड अप एंड थ्रोन इन टू दिस ओस एंड देन व्हाट इज योर कंडीशन ऑफ लाइफ यू जस्ट इमेज सिमिलरली वी प्योर शोर we have been put into this network of material body and we are thrown into the ocean of misalms this is our position struggle for existence how to get out of the network how to how to get out of the ocean this is manas sasthan indriyani prakriti sthani karshit this is our position so bhaktuna thakur says that this body is the network of ignorance simply sense gratification uh, i shall eat this i shall eat that i shall hear this i shall that ear is engaged in hearing uh, nice cinema songs and the tongue is engaged going to the restaurant so many so called palatable dishes uh, similarly other senses then engaged 
So the according to Bhakti Yoga system, the first control is recommended to the tongue. Uh, that is said that Atasya Krishna Namadi Navave Graiham Indriya. Now we receive knowledge through the Indriyas. But if the Indriyas are impure, senses, they are impure, they cannot understand what is Krishna. Ata Sri Krishna Nam Adi. Nam, beginning. Because beginning is Sravanam. Bhakti Marga begins by hearing. Now what is Sravanam? Chanting. If there is chanting or there is some speaking, then we can hear. Oh. That is recommended by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Oh. That simply here, there are many places recommended the here. So, but it is said, Atha Sri Krishna Namadi Navavid Grayam Indriyai. This present blunt senses, material senses, cannot receive oh. even these chanting of Hare Krishna Mahaprabhu. They say this is nuisance. Uh, Bhagavan says in the Bhagavad Gita, Chaturvita bhajante maam. Four classes of men who begins Bhagavad bhajan. Uh, Sukriti no. Those who are pious. But in the modern leaders they say, this bhajan nuisance. This is our misfortune. Satatam kirtan tang maam jatantascha dhirabhrata. These are the explanations in the Bhagavad Gita. Saintly person, Mahatma. They are engaged in chanting satatam always. Satatam kirtan tang maam. Kirtan tang. Very fine. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu recommends. Kirtaniya sadahari. Kirtaniya sadahari. Tinada pishuni chena. Taroro pishahishnuna. Amanina manadena. Kirtaniya sadahari. This is the recommendation of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu that you should glorify the holy name of Hari. Hari means Krishna. Uh, so that is the recommendation. But we are meeting so many obstacles because they think this chanting is nuisance, this bhajan is nuisance. This is Kali uh, Not the Kali even every Yuga. The author Sri Krishna Navadi Navavit Grayam Indra. A devotee is hearing, he is enjoying. And the non devotee, is thinking it is nuisance. Uh, therefore it is said, Atasya Krishna Namadi Navavit Grayam Indriya. In the blind senses, material senses, they cannot receive. Uh, Namadi. Not only name, they cannot see Lord Krishna's form. Because hearing and seeing and smelling and tasting and touching, we have got so many senses. So these senses being materially contaminated, it cannot hear what is Krishna's holy name. Atat Krishna Namadi, Navavit Grayam Indri. Then how to understand Krishna? That is recommended. Sevana Mukhi Jivadu. You have to engage your tongue, first of all, in the service of the Lord. Uh, the Krishna realization begins from the tongue. Uh, how? Now you simply make it a vow that I shall not accept anything which is not offered to Krishna. And you take another vow that I shall not talk anything 
except glorifying the Lord, then you become perfect. Very simple method. Simply you have to make this determination uh, that I shall not talk anything which is not about Krishna, and I shall not eat anything which is not offered to Krishna. So our this Krishna consciousness movement is teaching these two things specifically. Uh, we are distributing little prasadam. If we get opportunity, we can give sumptuous prasadam. We are doing that in all other centers throughout the whole world. Uh, by eating, simply by eating one can be devoted. It doesn't require if he simply eats Krishna prasadam. It is so nice method. Uh, so divadu and uh, chanting and hearing, uh, this is recommended here. Ja atma sangyamo jivadu. Atma, you have to make a determination. Atma sangyamo. That I shall not allow this tongue to take anything in the restaurant, but I can simply allow the tongue. If you do this, then you become Goshami. That is called Goshami. Because we are all Godas. Go means senses. So actually we are all servants of our senses. The whole activities of the material world means everyone is acting as the servant of his senses. That's all. This is the material world. Everyone is working. Uh, everyone is working so hard. Uh, so one who, when one becomes intelligent, then he understands that what I am doing, I am thinking that I am master, I am proprietor, I am the head of the family, but what I am doing actually, I am do, acting as servant of my senses, my son's senses, my wife's senses, my daughter's senses, my servant's senses, that's all. If you speak something wrong even to your servant, uh, the servant will resign and you will be in trouble. Therefore you have to serve his senses so that he may not be angry. This is our position. So we are simply serving senses, but we are thinking, I am master. This is called illusion. So, jnana when you actually come to the sense of your knowledge, then you come to this conclusion that what I am, what is my master's? I'm simply serving the senses, different senses. Bhavnam janvanamante. After many, many births, spoiling the life and spoiling the time by satisfying the senses. Bhavnam janvanamante. So long he'll go on satisfying the senses, either your senses, that is centralized senses, or expanded senses, the senses of your family, senses of your society, senses of your country, nationality. These are all sense gratification process. Simply extending. It begins to centralize my senses, then my son's senses, uh, then my grandson and senses, then my country's senses, then there is sense gratification, that's all. Uh, there is no other business. So when one becomes enlightened, he offers himself to Krishna. There is a verse like this, kāmādhināṁ kutidhāna kutidhā pālitā dunnidesa. My Lord, I have spoiled my time in this way, becoming the godās or the servant of the senses. Kāmādhinā, kāmkrodh lo moha māsaj. Therefore it is called kāmādhinā. 
Kotidana. I have satis- tried to satisfy them to my utmost. Kotidana, Kotidana. What I have not done for them, still they are not satisfied. Neither they are merciful. Tesam na karuna jat, na tripta. They are neither satisfied, neither they are merciful. Never. You go on serving your family. Nobody will give you relief. If you say that I have done so much for you, give me relief. First of all, I do not want to be divorced. That is also another disease. You see? <laughs> you will be surprised. Uh-huh. It is my practical experience. There is Krishna consciousness movement before starting. I wrote one letter to Mahatma Gandhi. Mahatma Gandhi, you have got position. People accept you as a very uh, pious man. Now you have got your saraj. And you are uh, very fond of Bhagavad Gita. Let us preach Bhagavad Gita. Uh, I wrote this letter. Unfortunately, a few days after he was killed. Uh, so this is the position. Uh, all big, big leaders, uh, they do not want to take relief from the sense gratification business. No. This is the therefore jnana dipite atma samyama yoga agno. Because there is no knowledge. They think this sense and extend expanded sense gratification will make the world happy. No. That is not possible. Oh. Therefore, jnana dipite means that by this kind of sense classification will not solve the problems. Kama dinang kutithana kutitha palita dhunni desa tisang maina kuruna jata kuruna. There is no mercy. Therefore, I have given up them. Now I have come to you, my dear Lord. I was serving the senses so long. Now I want to serve you. This is knowledge. Gyanodhiti. Because my business is to satisfy the senses, either my senses or my relative senses, but it has not uh, made me happy. Therefore, I have come to you to satisfy your senses. Kindly engage me in your business. This is called gyan. That is explained in the Bhagavad Gita. Bhonam Janmanavante. Gyanavana manga prabhadhati. Uh, when Gyanavana, what kind of Gyanavana? After serving the senses of so many people, life after life, when one comes to his real knowledge that this kind of sense gratification will not make me happy, let me gratify the senses of Krishna. That is real knowledge. Jnana Dipiti. And in another place it is said, Bhunam Janmanamante Jnanavan Manga Prabhadda. Jnanavan, real, that is real. Actually, my business is to satisfy the senses of Krishna. But I am thinking that I shall be happy by satisfying my senses, my family senses, my country senses my nation senses, and so on, so on, so on. This will never make me happy. This is the secret. So therefore Krishna says that you have manufactured so many businesses of sense gratification, that's all right. Give up this old rascal business. Simply surrender unto me. sarva dharma paritajya mami kam Then you will be satisfied. Otherwise, there is no question of satisfaction. You go on increasing the area of sense gratification. That will not make you happy. Oh. Oh. So, bhunam janvanam ante gyanavan maṅ prabuddhate 
వాసుదేవ సర్వమీతి స్వమహాత్మా సుదుల్లో దిస్ ఈజ్ ది డెఫినేషన్ ఆఫ్ మహాత్మా వెన్ వాట్ ఎంగేజెస్ హిస్ సెన్సెస్ ఫార్ ది సాటిస్ఫాక్షన్ ఆఫ్ ది సుప్రీమ్ సెన్సెస్ and unfortunately we define the supreme as having no senses uh nirakar and no hand no leg no eyes nothing no senses simply i have got my senses and who manufactured me he has no senses but that is not fact if i have got my senses my father who manufactured me he has also sense this is right conclusion how is that i have got my senses i have got my propensities i have got my form and why these things should be denied to my father and especially the supreme father therefore bhagavad gita says that abhaktam bhakti maapannam mannate maam abuddhaya param bhavam janam they do not know but the actual fact is that when our senses will be sacrificed for the satisfaction of the supreme senses then our life is successful rishi ke na rishi ke so sevanam bhakti ruchate it is not that nullifying my senses god senses have been. no senses are there my senses are there god senses are there but when my senses will be engaged in satisfying the supreme senses that is my perfection of lord rishi ke na rishi ke sa sevanam bhakti ruch so that can be begun with sevan mohe hi jivado because we meet together and talk so many nonsense in political conference social conference scientific conference tang going on day and night conference is going on and another business eating process sense that we do sir he people are ask please come here chant hari krishna they are not at all interested and invite him in some political meeting and talk all nonsense he is very much interested yes this is called maya uh, so we have to convert this uh, in is of engaging senses but talking nonsense we have got so many books so many talks about krishna why not take this uh, you can go simad bhagavatam Uh, about Krishna, Bhagavad Gita, go on talking uh, and go on eating Krishna prasad. Seven mukhi hi jivhaal, chanting Hare Krishna mantra. Seven mukhi hi jivhaal, saame was prakar. Then self-realization is guaranteed. Uh, there is no difficulty, not at all. Uh, and that is also described. So Mahatma Sudulava simply says Sudulava. But what is the symptom? Mahatma Anustumang Pratha Devi Prakriti Asrita Bhajanti Ananna Manusho Gyatya Bhuta Adi Mabbe. This is Mahatma. Mahatma Anustu Mang Pratha Devi Prakriti. They are under the protection of Devi Prakriti. there are two prakritis spiritual prakriti and material prakriti the devotees are not under this material prakriti they are under the spiritual prakriti the activities of krishna they are all spiritual uh, and the devotees because they are uh, engaged in spiritual activities they are above the material prakriti sagunar samatitta etan brahm bhuyay kalpa हो मान चब विचार अव्या विचारिणी भक्ति जोगी न जसे बते एनी वन हु इज एनगेज इन डिवोशनल सर्विस विदाउट एनी इम्पेडिमेंट अव्या विचारिणी विदाउट एनी स्टॉपेज कंटिन्युअसली 
Chagunan Samatitta Itana Brahma Bhujaya Kalpa. He is not on the material platform. Therefore, a devotee, Mahatma, Mahatma Anastamantra, Daivi Prakriti Mahasitta. There are two Prakritis. Those who are not Mahatmas, Duratma, Duratma means trying to satisfy the Atma in a different way, far, far away from Krishna. They call Duratma, Duro. Duro means distant or very difficult. So everyone we can become Mahatma as it is explained in the Bhagavad Gita simply by surrendering to Krishna. Thank you very much.